Hi everyone, come cruising with the Clemens through Estes and Rocky Mountain National Park. Mark here with Cruising with Clemens. We're here with Grammy. <laughs> we are in Rocky Mountain National Park and we've moved up from Colorado Springs into Estes. We're staying mm -hmm. at Hermit Hollow, which is a really remote campground way in the uh, back in the woods. And uh, we're just enjoying our time up here at uh, Bear Lake. Like we mentioned before, um, we like to come into the park the day before we're really going to do our stuff. And so I actually got us a timed entry for late today. So we came in to get our maps, talk to the rangers, do our junior ranger books, um, and things like that. So um, so yeah, so we're going to plan out because our entry for tomorrow is between 7 and 9 a.m. It was great. Yeah, so we're going to plan when we get home tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to Hermit Park. This county park is located just outside of Estes with gorgeous views of the surrounding Rocky Mountains. Just a three mile ride from the main entrance, we arrived at our beautiful campsite. After setting up camp, our first stop was Village Laundry in Estes. We had two weeks worth of clothing and we needed showers. The laundry facility was great and so were the showers. <laughs> Guys, we are at Rocky Mountain National Park. We are here early this morning. We have our passes. We are here to see some bighorn sheep, some moose, and maybe an elk. Uh -huh. Yeah. So let's go check out the park. What are we here to see? Oh, there's one laying down there. Look, and that guy's sitting up. Okay, it's like the most exciting thing. It's like one of the things I wanted to see. I'm so excited.
Our last stop was Hidden Valley, the Junior Ranger headquarters for the Rocky Mountain National Park. Here you can pick up Junior Ranger books, an exploration kit, or have a ranger review your completed book. Additionally, there are beautiful hiking trails, plenty of picnic tables, and a gorgeous stream located behind the building. Your badge in your right hand. What was the new animal you saw today? Also, a pika. A pika. Pika, pika, pika. All right, Coop, what was your favorite thing today? Well, it's tied up with ice cream, moose, and the good lunch, the good dinner that I had. Okay, all right. Bryce? Same as Kennedy's. Same as Kennedy's. Grammy, what was your favorite today? Being with my family and watching the kids in the rock shop. Mm, that's right, we went to a rock shop. Mm. Daddy? What was your favorite today? Probably the bighorn sheep. Okay. Those were really awesome. Because I said they're not easy to find in the park anymore. So the fact that we saw seven of them was pretty awesome. Yeah. Moose, definitely the bighorn sheep. What else? It was a great day. We had gorgeous weather. It was supposed to be rainy today, and it didn't happen. So it was just an awesome day all around. we saw a large herd of elk with a ton of babies in it doing zoomies. We're in an elk traffic jam. She's right here just munching away. Hi sweet girl, oh look how pretty you are. And the rain. Oh, they're so beautiful.
walk. <laughs> totally normal. How do I look? <laughs> does it make your bass look big? Yeah, does it make my bass look big? <laughs> All right, guys, that was the Rocky Mountains and Estes Park. Thank you for watching. As you saw, uh, we saw lots of animals, moose, bighorn sheep. By far our favorites. Pika, which are little tiny mice. I don't know that we got any of those on film. Uh, marmots, lots of mule deer. The park was- Lots of elk. Yeah, lots of elk too. We saw a huge elk herd like two days in a row. Yeah, so absolutely gorgeous, the Rocky Mountain Park. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't think we'd see that many animals, but there were animals everywhere. Yeah. And I heard someone saying, I've been to this park a bunch of times and never seen anything. And I was like, man, you got to have your eyes closed because there was like hundreds yeah. and hundreds of animals. It was crazy. So also caught a brown trout. We did not get that on film, but I did catch a little brown mm -hmm. trout on one of the rivers there. Mm -hmm. um, had a bunch of hits in the lake, but no hookups. So I, as usual with some of the other parks that we've been to, our advice always early in the morning, um, late in the day, we went in late in the day while it was raining. Yeah. We still saw a whole herd of elk, Yeah. babies, yeah. uh, juveniles, uh, mamas. Yeah. As I heard about 50, 60. Yeah. So, I mean, just because it's raining, don't skip going to the parks. It's actually yeah. the best time because there's like less people there. Yeah. Yeah. So park was absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. Estes is a cute little town. It's getting very touristy and they just implemented paid parking in like eight mm -hmm. of their public parking areas. So it was that still, was a bit of a bummer. And it was hard to find parking every once in a while. Yeah. But the river that goes downtown is beautiful and you can walk along it. You can fish it. Um, yep. There's tons of restaurants. So from that aspect, it was, it was, you know, cute. Yeah. It's a cute little town. Mm -hmm. Um, plenty also, to do there. <laughs> if you need cell service, because we were staying out, you guys saw at Hermit's um, Hollow, which mm -hmm. is actually a county park, and it's beautiful park. It's, it is beautiful. It's three miles off the road to our particular campsite. Yeah. But it was beautiful. But there was this much cell service. Yeah, nothing. So um, we went into Estes a couple times to get cell service because we needed to check where we were going the next day and weather, things like that. Yeah. There's an awesome fly fishing shop called Kirk's. I don't have their hat on, but I did get a hat there. Um, they have tons of gear there and a bunch of guides. Yeah, they do. I mean, there was people having evening guide trips that we saw. They were suiting up and heading out right out the back door because Kirk's is right on the river. Yeah. Um, so it was really cool. Uh, the kids hit multiple rock shops, which you guys watched our videos before know that that's a big deal in our house because um, Bryce loves rocks mm -hmm. and he celebrated his birthday this week and it was rock themed. It was yep. geology themed. Yep. Um, so when Grammy was visiting, they went and visited rock shops a bunch and, um, they had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that about wraps it up. Make sure to like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. And thanks again for watching. Yep.